Okay, guys, in this box right here, I have got some of the, one of the coolest gifts, most useful gifts I've ever gotten in my life. <laughs> Listen, I'm showing you this for two reasons. I got these out while you were over here for two reasons. One you is jealousy. One? No, 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 no. One is to make you jealous because you are not allowed to use these. They belong to me. Yeah. Number two is Hold to on. ask you a very important question. What the heck? <laughs> okay, number two is to ask you a very important question. Okay. Because these things are not ever supposed Can to be they like first? they came in this box. Sure, do, don't look, don't look. No, I want to I see how heavy they are because you said you're not allowed to use these. So I'm already thinking what I think they are. They're not what I thought they were. No. Nope. I thought that they were sawhorses. Okay, they're not sawhorses. They're not saw horses. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question why they were shipped like this because as far as we've been told and reamed about on the internet, they're never supposed to be like this. Okay. Yeah. Help me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's talk about this because these are these are some of the coolest stop, buckets. Stop, stop. What are you gonna put those handles on? I know they just sent me a bunch of empty handles. They I don't know what's you going a on. Bunch of handles. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Anyways, these are really cool buckets, right? For real. Like they've got a <laughs> grippy handle so it don't hurt your hand carry, right? Padded handle. Real cool. Look, that's cool. But they're stacked. They was already stuck together yeah. coming out of the box. You know because that's the organized way to stack buckets and store buckets is to stack them. There you have it, friends. Literally. You always stack your buckets. You always stack your buckets. There are a hundred tricks that I know to get two buckets done from each other. You know how mad I would have been if I got them out of them boxes and I couldn't use yeah, a single one of them. Funny. Those are cool buckets, though. Uh, I don't know who sent those. They didn't come with the note or anything. But those are cool. But I think if we were meant to share the buckets, it might have said Brianne Nash and Jacob Morrow. Well, they just actually put Brianne Nash twice. Oh, it's just a simple typo. <laughs> Anyways, guys, aside from those... uh really sweet buckets I got. Thank you whoever sent those. I'm not sure if I said that. I really do appreciate that though. Those uh, will especially be useful when the horses come home. Um, I don't feed any of the animals enough right now. They don't get enough feed to fill a five gallon bucket, um, but I believe the horses will, so they'll be real handy. Um, I've got to do Oh, water is nasty. So their water is a little dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and clean and refill. And I brought them uh, a little bit of a leftover bag of feed and another bag of feed to fill up their feeder. It's real dirty. But I'm gonna show y'all anyways to prove that they are roosting on the roost because that is everywhere that they are pooping. Guys, chickens are very nasty animals. Um, they smell, that's no surprise to anybody. They poop a lot all day, every day they poop, just like a goat. Everyone knows goats are nasty. Chickens are just as nasty. Um, so just a few days of me not cleaning out this coop results in a huge mess and a huge job, which I have on my hands now. However, I am very excited. I did not check for eggs yesterday either. I didn't collect them and I have quite a bit in here. We've got the chicken feed filled up. I complain about the chickens making a mess and look at y'all. Okay. Yep, it's I made a mess myself with the chicken feed this morning so I can't say much of anything. I spilled a bit, just a bit. Um, you wanna know a fun fact? When my chickens are free ranging when I don't keep them locked in the run, which I'm not at all right now because the run is very broken and needs a lot of work. Um, so they're out free ranging all the time right now. I don't keep them locked in at all during the day. They're fine. They're not bothering anybody. But when the chickens are free ranging, I only have to fill this food container up like once every probably four or five days because they are eating so much out and about in the grass and then they're just nibbling on this again whenever they come in to go to bed. Um, 
no significance to that. I just thought it was a fun fact. Yeah. I am having to spend a little bit of time uh, scrubbing this waterer this morning. And let me tell y'all why that is. If y'all heard that I'm using first Saturday lime in my chicken water, that is no longer the case. I'm gonna let some, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm gonna let some water run in that for a second. I'm no longer using first Saturday lime for my chicken water and here's why. It was doing a good job at fighting the growth of the green algae in my water container. It did its purpose. However, my chicken specifically, I cannot speak for anyone else's chickens or if first Saturday lime works for them. My chickens specifically did not really want to drink the water like that. Did they drink the water like that? Yes, but my water container was staying very much more full than it did before I was using the first Saturday lime, so I don't think they liked it. Are you enjoying yourself, baby? I wanted to see you play in the... She really likes the coconuts on my Crocs. She thinks that they're real seeds of some kind, I think. <laughs> what are you doing, Car Car? Hey, I came to get a video of you playing in the water. You don't want to play in the water anymore? Okay. I don't know if y'all can see some of what I'm seeing, but it is definitely fly season. Some of what y'all are seeing are sunflower seeds, but the ones moving, that's all flies. And you know what that means? That means that it is finally time to use the really cool idea I saw of a fly trap. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to show y'all that. Oh, what y'all crying for? Everyone knows what y'all are crying for. Y'all are always crying for the same thing. Hey, hey, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We've got a pretty little, pretty little bird over there just hanging out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is why y'all can't feed right now. They're going crazy. Got a little on your on your head there, Lefty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got a lot of food this morning, guys. Something in my something in my measurement. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Look at this. This is the bad thing about this yard. I don't know if y'all can see down into that like I can see down into that. There's no green growth in here. It's not dirty as if they just don't get clean water. But I'm so sick of all of this stuff. I don't have a single place in this yard that I can move this water. That stuff from these trees isn't gonna fall in. So I just dump the whole thing every day and refill. Hey, y'all see that? Do y'all see this? What is that? When I started getting all this stuff out, these just started forming on the water. Someone sciency, tell me what that is. I'm not sciency. Here's another one. On a positive note, ugh, I can flip that water by myself. No big deal. And uh, last time I made a video of this, I misspoke. Okay, I misspoke. Because it is not the automatic water that's broken over here. I'll show you what it is the water is fine it's the actual spigot not my spigot here that my hose is connected to i'm having to come over here every day and this is the the main water line here See if we can see where it comes. Yep. Here's our leak. 
And after doing all of that mess right there, I can walk all the, all the pressure I got. Well, that would make sense. There is a leak. Anyways, after all that, we can come and clean up the trough. Good morning, my man. Good gravy they drink this down. Um, but it's actually much easier for me whenever, because they drink so much, and without an automatic waterer on it, it actually makes it so much easier for me to clean out as often as I need to. Uh, we can see no green growth in here, no green buildup. We do have a little pollen ring, but we can't do anything about that. And same thing, some stuff that's fallen in, but uh, so, what is with y'all in the sticks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll be real easy to dump now though. Uh, however, this trough does have this plug on it. There's a plug on it. Y'all have witnessed me recruiting my dad's help on dumping this multiple times. Maybe it's I do not feel as down. stupid though because my dad never realized it had a plug on it either. I talked to Pop about this plug though. He said it's never been used so it might be real hard to pull out. Wow. Uh, we're just not going to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Replace this handy dandy plug that I now realize we have here. And uh, we've got a fine looking trough. And my timer is already going off to go turn the other water off at the goat yard now. We are going to go ahead and put this on Barbie's gate. And I do have stall mats that I need to go pick up for in here. And we will be good to go. I do have an update on Barbie. I'm gonna make y'all another video because I've got a lot to say. Just know I'm feeling like a bad, neglectful horse mom right now because I have not been able to get there yet to get the horses. Whole story coming soon. A little Blackberry had an itch, but her and Feather, well, her and Feather are not having a stare down. She's just staring down Feather. What's the matter? Are you scared? Yeah. I think she wants to play with you, Feather. We just had some crazy stuff going on in here. Um, I was recording, you know, the other way because I was making a little Facebook video. I'm going to add those clips in here for y'all, though, so y'all can see what exactly happened. <laughs> um, but the water is full anyways, so we're going to go ahead and uh, turn, turn it off and skedaddle on out of here. I don't know... Why did you do that? I know that I'm about to be in so much trouble for that video clip. Seven years, almost eight years, is how long Feather has lived here and gone in every pasture from a puppy to the great big ginormous dog that she is right now, hundreds and hundreds of times, has gone in every single one of these pastures with us and never been attacked like that. Um, I'm sure it's pretty clear that Granny was just protecting her baby and Feather was probably a little bit too close. And that was Feather's signal to get the heck back. And she learned that with one lesson. That's why I take the dogs and let them experience the animals so they learn the lesson and they don't do it next time. She's not hurt. I checked her over. She's great. Granny gave her a little bump into the tire, but she's not hurt. I am closing us out with baby chicks because y'all look at this. It looks like it is about to be thunderstorming again today. So I'm going to hurry up and get the kids in before we get poured on. I'm still doing food and water on this side, but look at these babies. These are two of my bantams, and I think that they turned out to be silkies. I think that these are going to be white fluffy silkies. Uh, hi! <laughs> what you looking at? What you looking at, Willis? Sorry. Where are you going? 
Where are you going? Where are you going? Thank you. Maybe he's a silky too. Maybe I got another black silky. Guys, I swear it was so warm and so beautiful out here today. And in a matter of minutes, however long it just took me to feed the chickens in the shed, I come back out and it's like an entirely different day here. It's cool. Like I need to go put jackets and pants on the kids right now. And it just, it, there's no sunshine. Oh my gosh. I think that means it's about to come down really hard. I'll see y'all in the next one. We're gonna go ahead and run in the house.